फ्रेंड्स दिस वीडियो कवर्स यू एम एल और यूनिफाइड मॉडलिंग लैंग्वेज आई विल स्टार्ट दिस सेक्शन बाई प्रोवाइडिंग आंसर टू द क्वेश्चन वॉट इज यू एम एल यू सी यू एम एल इज एन एक्रोनिम फॉर यूनिफाइड मॉडलिंग लैंग्वेज एज द नेम सजेस्ट इट इज अ मॉडलिंग लैंग्वेज टू अनालाइज एंड डिजाइन आई टी सिस्टम्स सिंपली स्पीकिंग इट इज प्रिपेयरिंग विजुअल्स एंड मॉडल्स ऑफ आई टी सिस्टम्स टू बी डेवलप्ड नंबर वन वी कैन ऑल्सो प्रिपेयर यू एम एल मॉडल्स फॉर आई टी सिस्टम्स विच हैव ऑलरेडी बीन डेवलप्ड एंड डिप्लॉयड टू स्टडी दम बेटर यू एम एल इज एन ओ एम जी और ऑब्जेक्ट मैनेजमेंट ग्रुप स्टैंडर्ड द करंट वर्जन ऑफ यू एम एल इज वर्जन टू पॉइंट फाइव यू एम एल गेट्स रिवाइज टाइम टू टाइम द रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी फॉर फर्दर डेवलपमेंट एंड रिविजन लाइज विद द रिविजन टास्क फोर्स सेटअप बाई ओ एम जी द ब्यूटी ऑफ यू एम एल इज दैट इट इज प्लेटफॉर्म इंडिपेंडेंट एंड टूल इंडिपेंडेंट विजुअलाइजेशन एंड मॉडलिंग लैंग्वेज सो सिंपली स्पीकिंग यू एम एल इज अ विजुअल लैंग्वेज विच इन्वॉल्व प्रिपरेशन ऑफ ब्लू प्रिंट्स ऑफ द सॉफ्टवेयर्स विच आर टू बी डेवलप्ड इट इज नॉट अ ह्यूमन लैंग्वेज इट इज नॉट अ प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज बट इट इज अ स्पेसिफिकेशन लैंग्वेज वाई शुड आई लर्न दिस यू सी I have seen many business analysts who have been subject matter experts previously or who do not have a engineering background sometimes to start with shy away from learning UML However with time UML has gained very much importance and today it has become lingua franca or common language of the IT business analyst profession It allows you standard easy and superior communication coupled with unambiguous interpretation so as a business analyst on the project when you are taking requirements from the client and then communicating it to all the stakeholders uml comes handy use case activities deployment and state machine diagrams are examples of some of the diagrams which allow it business analyst to capture requirements in detail UML is useful for all the stakeholders of the IT project and as an IT business analyst if you wish to be called yourself as a specialist and if you wish to place yourself as a business analyst with some premium knowledge of UML is absolutely necessary so those of you who are prepared to take deep dive into UML should be ready to prepare diagrams or models like these don't get overburdened to prepare diagrams like these is easy it is fun and it also makes you an expert and of course there are several popular uml tools or softwares which help you prepare diagrams like these having learned what is uml and importance of uml now it is time to get into a bit of history of uml It was 1980s that the object oriented programming languages started to gain prominence. For analysis and design of object oriented systems, several modeling standards were proposed. Many a times the modeling standards proposed by authors have different notations for the same object. It led to confusion and frustration. By the time it was early 90s, the modeling languages rose to 50 plus. It was then a hard felt need for a standard modeling language was felt however by 1993 three modeling techniques one by buch namely buch 93 second by rombog namely omt2 and third by dr ivar jacobson namely oose gained a distinct popularity over other modeling techniques in 1994 buch and rombog joined hands and the unification of their techniques was initiated at rational software it was in 1995 that jacobson and his company joined rational and the development of unified modeling language gathered significant momentum in 1996 uml was adopted as an omg standard with important omg members recognizing it as a standard modeling language for software systems friends 
I am now sure that you will appreciate the origin of the word unified in UML. No introduction to UML is complete without meeting these three great people. On the left is Grady Booch, who is known for his Booch 93 methodology. In the middle is Dr. Ivar Jacobson, who is also known as the father of use cases and who authored the Object-Oriented Software Engineering or OOSE methodology. On the extreme right is Rumbog, who is known for his OMT2 technique. Who uses UML? You see, UML is utilized by all the stakeholders of an IT system in varying degrees. IT business analysts prepare UML behavior diagrams to capture the requirements of the system. Important UML diagrams for IT business analysts are use cases, activities, state machine diagram, deployment diagrams, etc. Software architects prepare UML diagrams like class diagram, object diagram, component diagrams. Testers follow use case diagrams, activities diagrams for testing the system which has been developed. A client may review and approve all the diagrams. What do we use UML for? You see, UML diagrams capture the structure and behavior of the proposed software. So it provides the complete blueprint for the software to be developed. UML is fairly detailed. So a software can be developed by development team with precision if they are given UML models. UML is a standard, so it allows easy and superior specification with unambiguous interpretation. Let us now learn what is into UML. UML has got two kinds of diagrams, structure diagrams and behavior diagrams. There are seven structure diagrams and seven behavior diagrams. Every diagram in UML utilizes standard notations and terms. Notation, as we know, is a standard visual symbol or sign. To master UML, first step is to be thorough with UML notations and the terms. Have a look at this visual. This visual mentions all the structure and behavior UML diagrams. So, class diagram, component diagram, object diagram, profile diagram, composite structure diagram, deployment diagram and package diagram are UML structure diagrams. UML behavior diagrams are activity diagram, use case diagram, state machine diagram, interaction diagram which include sequence diagram, communication diagram, interaction overview diagram and timing diagram. UML tools and software. To prepare UML diagrams, you can take help of several standard UML softwares. They include Visio Professional 2013 from Microsoft Visio, Rational Software from IBM, and Enterprise Architect Software from Spark System. There are many other softwares available as well. Now we have come to an end to introduction to UML video. To summarize, UML knowledge and expertise is necessary for IT business analysts. Through UML, they can capture requirements easily, quickly, and precisely. UML is easy and UML is fun. UML models and diagrams which you will prepare will get right inside your requirement documents for all the stakeholders to utilize. Thank you for following this section, Introduction to UML. You can get deep into UML by following other sections such as use cases, activities, state machine, etc. Having completed this, it is now time to receive personal thanks from your friend and trainer Vijay S. Shukla. Congratulations! Now you are aware of what UML is all about.